Folks, let me introduce you to a Chevy man through and through. This is Blake Greenfield. And this is a picture of Blake when he was 16 years old in 1990. Uh, Blake grew up in Jewel, Iowa. And he was rocking a sweet mullet back there in 1990. And here's a picture. He's standing by the first vehicle he ever bought, which was a 1970 Chevy C10 short box lowrider with a 355 V8 with Muncie 4 speed. So you can imagine young Blake, uh, he had the world by the tail. Now, Blake, from the time he was a little dude, he was a Chevy guy. Uh, I think greatly influenced by his father, Laverne, who passed away a number of years ago. But Laverne, this is a picture of the first new vehicle he bought, a 1973 Chevy three-quarter ton 4x4. And again, the picture's from 04, when the Greenfields had uh, 287,000 miles on this thing. Now, if you follow our Facebook and Twitter, you saw the teaser I put this afternoon, Blake Greenfield is now the owner of Blake Greenfield uh, Chev Chevrolet Buick. He has two stores, one in Wells, Minnesota, kind of south central part of the state near Fairmont, and another store in Spring Valley, Minnesota, south of Rochester. And what Blake has done, totally cool in my book, but he's taking Chevys that are 2014 to 2017 models and he's come out with this retro package and you can make your your modern Chevrolet pickup look like it's from the 70s and totally cool and here's just a few pictures and uh, Blake and his team um, came out with this package this retro package and it cost under six thousand bucks very cool but they came out with it not too long ago and the and the response has just been amazing and that was confirmed today on our Facebook page I think I left Dyersville, Iowa this afternoon where I posted. I drove an hour and we had over, I think, 1,300 likes on the post. So this is going to be fun, folks. Earlier this week, I did an interview with Blake Greenfield at his Wells, Minnesota dealership. And we talked about this new retro package, 70s retro package, how we came up with the idea, how they do it. And uh, let's go to that interview right now. Hey, folks, Machine Repeat here. I've driven from Rochester, Minnesota about an hour and a half over to Wells, Minnesota today for, I think you're going to enjoy this, one of the coolest things I've run across in quite a while here. This is Blake Greenfield, owner of Blake Greenfield Chevrolet and Buick here in Wells. And Blake reached out to me on Twitter recently with some pictures of some amazing trucks. Blake, thank you for reaching out. Uh, why don't you tell people in your own words what you got going here? Well, I guess uh, we built this truck. It's, it's a 2014 Silverado LT1. It's a double cab. And we had built this, I, we sort of built this truck in honor of my dad. He passed away in 2004. His name was Laverne Greenfield. Okay. And uh, growing up, he had bought a 1973 Chevy brand new. And we, both me and my brother Jason, had a lot of fond memories of that truck over the years. And Blake, you grew up down in Jewel, Iowa? Yep, about five miles north of Jewel, Iowa, okay. on, a, on a farm slash acreage. Yep. yep, so, and uh, so... We had traded for this green truck and my sales guys were teasing me that it was a little bit odd, ugly color and this and that. And mm -hmm. So I thought, well, my last name's Greenfield and a lot of our advertising, we incorporate the color green because of my name and stuff. And, and so I thought, what better for me to have is a green truck. So that's where that whole idea started. And then, um, so again, not this is not a 70s actual truck. No, it's a 2014. Modern truck. Yep. It has... It started out with 81,000 miles on it when we took it in on trade. Yep. And so I thought, I'm going to make this look like my dad's old two-tone truck. So I yep. called my vinyl guy, Ray. He's my cousin. And you have two stores, Blake? Yeah, we have two stores. So we have Blake Greenfield Chevrolet Buick right here in Wells, Minnesota. Yep. And then I have a partner with me at the Spring Valley Chevrolet Buick store in Spring Valley, Minnesota. So just south of me in Rochester. Just south of Rochester, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you call, who'd you call up then? My cousin Ray, and I said, Ray, I took some pictures of this truck and I said, here's my, here's this truck. And I said, I want you to make this look like a mid 70s, 76, whatever, two-tone pickup. And I said, after my dad's red and white 73 Chevy regular cab long box pickup. So here's my dream. Here's my dream. Okay. So, so then I thought, well, we got to have steel wheels on it so to, to fit that theme. And I thought, you know what? What better than the iconic classic 
white wagon wheel from the, yeah. a lot of those sets got put on trucks. And so then we did, so then we, I love beefy tires, the taller the tires the better, but I didn't want to put a huge suspension lift. So it's a, it's a, it's a small lift kit front and rear and to accommodate an oversized, and I'm, I'm a BFG all-terrain white letter guy. Yeah. And so we got those on it and then I thought, you know what, we gotta put those badges on the front fender because that'll help people recognize my idea. Right, right. So then we found some um, reproduction metal badges for the front, and that's okay. where it says Cheyenne Super 10. Right. And then on this truck, that badge is a little bit too high, and I got, I got questioned on it on social media. We had a little bit of fun with it. But so we, the reason we put it a little bit too high on this truck was so that, do you remember in the olden days, Greg, when the, um, when they had the dealer emblems yeah. on the front fenders? Right, right, that's right. why I wanted to put my dealer sure. emblem is to be period correct. So that's why we did that. And then, uh, so the, now Blake, let's, uh, I'll just interject you. This whole thing started to take off. Was it back in December or January? Early December. Okay. And you had this truck you finished it and had it parked out front here it was sitting right out in front of the big sign up there okay yeah so right in wells minnesota here and somebody saw it a good gentleman by the name of chad malowitz okay. from town he's a local chiropractor yep. he stopped i could tell he must have been on the road he stopped and just clicked a picture and i think he might have to correct me if i'm wrong but he posted on his facebook page and he might have put it on the National Square Body Association page. I did find out later that a friend of mine from Clarion had also taken a picture and put it on the National Square Body Association Facebook page as well. But so but once basic it got out there, it just it went viral. Yeah, and by the next morning, in a matter of hours, we had had like twenty to thirty calls from all over the nation <laughs> off of that because it just it just wow. took off. Right. So. By that morning, then we decided that we needed to put a Facebook post on there. Right. And so then we got with the program and started marketing it, so to right. speak. But th this truck was not for sale. It was not on the internet. Right. It was just for my personal enjoyment. And I thought perhaps just a truck that I could brand myself with, like my dad did sure. with his Chevy sure. pickup. Absolutely. And it Blake just. Greenfield Chevrolet, yeah. Mills, Minnesota. And there's Blake's green, there, there goes Blake. There's his right. green truck, you know, but. So with all the outreach that, that took off after the Facebook post, now you've actually come up with like a, a retro package that you actually can sell. Why don't you talk about that? Correct. Very exciting. Yep. So we'll we'll upfit anybody's current pickup. The most conducive pickups to do it to would be anything 2014 on up. Okay. But we're willing to try it on any. We we custom make everything so we can try it on anything. Okay. And. Um, the total package is $59.95. Under 6K you could Yeah, do this. under 6K. That wow. includes a front and rear lift kit. It includes the wheels, center caps, air pressure sensors for the monitors, and the off-road tires. Um, it also includes the chrome door handles and the chrome mirror caps, the metal badges that we install on the front fenders, and it includes the whole two-tone wrap effect that we do in vinyl if I need to do a little bit more checking on paint prices we've done one with paint yep. and I think we underpriced it a little bit because right. our costs were more than what we realized you're but doing this for under 6k Blake you, you yeah. can't be making I mean we're making in the hundreds right we're making in the hundreds but yeah I don't know if uh, convey this folks but Blake is a Chevy guy to the core that's right. Your dad had the new 73. Tell people about your first ride that you bought. My first ride was a 70 Chevy short box. I was 16, might have even bought it when I was 15, but I think it was in 1990, I was 16, and I bought uh, out of Altoona, Iowa, out of the register classified ads, I bought a 70 Chevy regular cab short box, two wheel drive, low rider hot rod essentially. <laughs> Had a built 355 in it with a Muncie four-speed manual transmission and loud pipes. So. <laughs> you created a ruckus and two-wheel drive, great in the snow. I'm Perfect, sure. yeah. Any anywhere I went, I was spinning. And 
Now, I asked if you had a picture, but you were rocking a mullet back in the day? Yes, back <laughs> like... in the day, I was rocking a mullet, and, uh, and I'm, I'm going to get you those pictures. <laughs> you graduated we'll... uh, high school in Jewel in 1990? 1992. 92. Yep. Okay, 92. Yeah, but I bought the truck when I was 16. So again, Chevy is just in your blood. It is in my blood. And so to do something like this, Blake, again, you're not necessarily doing it to make a ton of money, but it's just... Let's talk about the feedback. Since now, and also after Facebook, then Fox News got a hold of it, did a story, I understand, on their website? Yes, they just recently called me out of New York, and uh, the, the um, automotive division yeah. person or reporter right. called me, and we had a nice visit, talked for half an hour on the phone. I was here at the dealership that day, right. and uh, yeah, had a great visit, and that was just on Friday, and he had the article published and posted live online by Friday afternoon and wow. texted me the link. So now I'm getting calls from friends all over, right. you know, congratulating right. me. And so it's been, it's been a lot of fun. And we've had multiple magazines do articles on us. Yeah, um, off the first Facebook. Yes, off the first. And the first one that did it was called The Drive. Okay. So that was the first automotive. You actually, now you sold one of these uh, retro packages Chevy trucks out to New York, I understand? We did. We sold it out to New York. Um, John, one of our sales guys at Spring Valley, took the phone call. He did an excellent job. He worked hand in hand with Dylan down in our in our body shop at Spring Valley. Yep. And that gentleman wanted real paint on that center section. Okay. And we did a two-tone real paint job center section on that. And then we did the vinyl. So the, the trim work, then we yeah, let's walk in for a closer yeah, look yep. up Lake. Get, get up close on this thing. So that trim work, we kept in vinyl, and we had our vinyl guy custom make just that colored trim work. And that gentleman sure. from New York is a Buffalo Bills fan. So ah. that his trim had a Buffalo Bills blue in the motif. And then Dylan, our artist extraordinaire down in our body shop, hand painted. Uh, and he did a different badge. Uh, I got picked on a little bit on social media because this badge is conducive to like a 73 to 76 Chevy. Yep. The mustard yellow in the in this band was a 77 year option only. And then to get me even more incorrect, the Big Ten sticker didn't start till 78. So I'm not very well. spot on, but I wanted to do my own. Um, I wanted people. I picked the coolest things that I remembered as a boy that I wanted on my truck to hopefully get, just for the fun fact that if I'm driving around, I wanted people to understand what I was trying to do. So I, so I tried to pick the words like Cheyenne Super and Big Ten and, and all that to right. get the most vintage. And I, what's more vintage than mustard yellow? <laughs> I, I, exactly. Whether you call it mustard yellow or harvest gold, yeah. I mean that is that's 70s. It. Yeah, that's it. So that's why... I put those colors together, and I think they really pop with the green and right. stuff. But so again, Blake, let's talk about now. If you're out driving, and again, this this truck is yours, but some of the ones you've had, you've had a red one, a black one. If you guys are out on the road, what response do you get? It is it is so fun, especially being a dyed in the wool car guy, Chevy yeah. guy, truck guy. Right. To be able to go down the interstate and have people, you just think they're going to pass you, and all of a sudden they stay directly beside you in the fast lane and you sort of look over and they're giving you the thumbs up or waving at you that has been a lot of fun i loaned this to some very loyal customers from ellsworth iowa and they were nice enough to bring it all the way back up here i had to do a little bit of repair on their vehicle and they said oh my gosh they said we had a blast driving this thing up here because they got the same notoriety that that we had on the interstate coming all so the way again, up I mean, this is available you say it works best for 2000. Yeah, so far we've been doing them on 2014s and newer. Newer, okay. Mm -hmm. We've done a 14, a 15, a 17, and an 18. And you're calling them the Big Ten Retro Package? Yeah, that's what we call them is the okay. Big Ten Retro Package. So under 6K. Yep, 59.95. I guess there'd be plus tax, but right, right. 59.95. And again, that now, but just being very forthright, that this truck was used, so this came with the. Sure. The tube sets, which I think are very vintage too, right. that it does not include those. And then, as we started to talk about it, we threw on a set of chrome rails on the box. It doesn't include those, but okay. 
but those are pretty darn affordable yeah, as well. Same and with, we, the, with the door handles, are they? No, those are included. So what's included yeah. again is the the two tone effect package, yep. the lift kit, the wheels and tires, four chrome door handles, chrome mirror caps, and the metal professionally installed badges on the front fenders. And we'll even let. We found out there's some manufacturers making different vintage of those metal emblems. Like for right. these are '73 to '70. 6, 75, yeah. and now we found a manufacturer that makes the 76 to 80 badges that would mm -hmm. maybe even be more period correct sure. depending if somebody wanted to get it. Like if somebody wanted to get it spot on, they would do a 78 to have the big 10. We To match that, we'd have to do black where the mustard yellow is, yep. and we can find a badge that would be period correct for 78, and they could get it more exactly period correct where I was looking of the total colors and artistry well, I know, of it. Uh, years years and years um, Blake just talking tractors with people restoring them the original versus restored retro all that stuff imagine well you tell me when people first saw this whether on Facebook or Fox News or whatever contacted you reached out I'm sure you had some people that were like original to the core but they have I bet they're pretty appreciative and what you're doing here yeah and and there's still you know two schools of thought some people I, I looked at the Fox News article and read some of those comments mm -hmm. and there's some folks that are die hard that say no I'm gonna keep my 75 or 85 or whatever right. but for most of us that need to travel a lot of miles and go to like we go to a lot of our daughter's right. volleyball events on the weekends right. and stuff we need to go 75 on the interstate and with overdrive and all the modern right. creature comforts it's what a great way to get some decent fuel economy have air conditioning and all the normal stuff and right yeah and the, the itch you're scratching here is providing a, a modern retro view yeah which we've had discussions with old farm tractors people be like oh my gosh if i could buy a new john Deere 4020 yes exactly and so again you you're all the modern amenities here and uh, again the feedback has just been pretty positive but, but yes I would say 99% of it has been tremendously positive we've had a lot of well wishers call our store just wishing us well and saying That's hey awesome. what you guys are doing is cool and so, so what is a, your if folks are interested what is your website for your store Blake? our website is www.blakegreenfieldchevroletbuick.com been here in Wells, Minnesota. Yep. Which people should pull off I-90 and visit Wells, shouldn't they? Yes, they should. And they should also visit Spring Valley. That's SpringValleyChevyBuick.com. Okay. And over there, John is our contact person. And we're sharing in the workload, so sure. they can call either store to get a quote. And right. they can either buy a used truck from us. We will buy a used truck for them. We'll find one at another right. dealer and buy that. Or they can do anything brand new that they would like as well. Very cool. Or they can bring their own truck to us and we'll custom upfit sure. there. They don't have to buy a truck from us to get the package. Right. Oh, that's so. very cool. And Blake, I'm also intrigued now in this day of, you know, it is what it is, but whether it's farm equipment dealers or car dealers, sure. you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 locations, you and your partner, you got into this. I mean, you're a young guy. You, you have two stores. You're local, small town. Yeah, we're, we're the little guys, yeah. Um, I bought my first store on my own here from Chuck and Paul Hinckley okay. back in December of 13. Paul, you'd, had, you'd been in the car biz down in Iowa? Yep, been in the car biz in Iowa since roughly getting out of college in 1998, give or take. And uh, yeah, and Paul Hinckley called me on my cell phone thinking about selling this dealership right here. And my eyes just lit up. I mean, this was my dream. You know, Your I'm chance. A, yeah, this was my chance to become a dealer. And, cool. and so. Well, yeah. Blake, I love what you're doing here, and the reason you're doing it to honor, going back to your father, yep. honoring him. And uh, I asked you before, but you don't still have that '73 you bought new in the family? No, I, I would love to find it. When when my when my dad Laverne passed away in '04, we sold it. It was a really tired truck with well used, yeah, yeah, 280,000 miles on it, yeah. and uh, and it it was for sale on Craigslist in on Des Moines, Iowa Craigslist about three years ago my cousin from Webster City texted me that it was for sale I called that phone number there was no answer and texted and he said it was sold so it it's probably bouncing around Webster City somewhere no nah, I bet it's bouncing around the Des Moines, Des Moines. area somewhere okay. Okay. and I would it was 
It was very, you'll know if you have it because it has dual spotlights, okay. one on each pillar, and it had old black rubber fender flares, and it was sort of a one of kind. It was a bright red with white in the center with bright red on the bottom, heavy duty, three quarter ton. And if, that was if anybody has it, I would love them to call the dealership and I would just like to take some pictures with sure. it if, uh, if somebody still has it out there. Well, Blake, hats off for what you've done here. I think uh, it doesn't surprise me the interest you're getting and uh, best of luck on uh, future sales of the Big Ten uh, retro package. I can, it's just a great deal. Under 6,000 bucks, you can make your truck like yep. in the 70s. Yep, thank you, Pete. Yeah, great stuff. Yep.